بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله This is a reading from the book of Imam al-Dahabi The book is entitled Kitabu al-Kabairi The book of the major sins is written by Al-Hafid Abi Abdullah Shams al-Din Muhammad ibn Ahmad ibn Uthman al-Dahabi The Shaykh he said Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbi Yassir, O my Lord, make it easy wa'a'in and support. Meaning, O my Lord, Allah, make it easier for me and support me in this endeavor. Qala Shaykh al Imam al Hafid al Shamsuddin Muhammad ibn Abi Muhammad ibn Ahmed ibn. Ibn Uthman al-Zahabi ghafar Allah lah The Shaykh, the Imam, the Hafiz Shams al-Din Muhammad The son of Ahmad, the son of Uthman al-Zahabi May Allah forgive his sins May Allah forgive him He said Alhamdulillahi All the praise is due to Allah Ala al-Imani be he for believing in him or be kitabihi and for believing in his books wa rusulihi and his messengers wa malaikatihi and his angels wa aqdarihi and his aqdar meaning his preordain his decrees wa sallallahu and may Allah send salat Ala Nabina upon our Prophet Muhammad wa Alihi and his family members wa Ansarihi, his supporters, Salatan or Salat that is Da'iman constant to Hilluna Dar al Qarar fi Jawarihi, a Salat through which we are going to land in the home of settlement in his company. هذا كتاب نافع This is a beneficial book في معرفة الكبائر in knowing in learning the major sins إجمالا generally وتفصيلا in specifically رزقنا الله إجتها رزقنا الله من الله provide us Ijitina biha, staying away from these major sins bi rahmatihi due to his mercy. All Allah Ta'ala, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says, wa in, He says, In tajitani bu kaba irama tun hawana anhu, no kafir, no kafir ankum siyi atikum, wa no da hilukum no da halan karima. If you stay away from the kabair that you have been prohibited from, the major sins that you have been prohibited from, we will expiate from you your shortcomings and we will enter you into a noble entry. Allah the exalted and might has taken the responsibility behind the nas due to this text. Limani jitanaba al kabair for the one who has refrained from the major sins. Bi an yuda khilahu al jannah that he will enter him into jannah. Allah has taken guarantee for those that stay away from the major sins. Due to this text, that he will enter them into Jannah. Allah allow us to enter into Jannah. Wa Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Waladina yajithani buna kabair al ithmi wal fawahisha." Those that stay away from 
the major sins and the indecencies that are major. وَإِذَا مَا غَضِبُوهُمْ يَغْفِرُونَ And if they are angry, they forgive. Al-ayat meaning the ayah, the ayah, the verses from Surah to Shura. وَقَالَ تَعَالَى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, الَّذِينَ يَجْتَنِبُونَ كَبَائِرَ الْإِثْمِ Those that stay away from the major sins. وَالْفَوَاهِشَ And the indecencies. إِلَّا لَمَمْ Except for the flashes. The flashes meaning the minor one. إِنَّ رَبَّكَ وَاسِعُ الْمَغْفِرَةِ Indeed, your Lord is the one that is vast in mercy. وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said الصلوات الخمس That the five daily salat والجمعة إلى الجمعة And from one جمعة to the next كفارة لما بينهن It is an expiation for the sins that occurs in between مَا لَمْ تُغْشَى الْكَبَائِرْ As long as the major sins are not engaged in meaning as long as you don't engage in the major sins فَتَعَيَّنَ عَلَيْنَا الْفَحْصُ Due to this it is incumbent upon us it becomes incumbent upon us to search anil kabair for the major sins it becomes incumbent it is upon all of us to search for the major sins so that the muslim can stay away from it فَوَجَدْنَا الْعُلَمَاءِ He said, we find that the scholars قَدْ اِخْتَلَفُوا فِيهَا They have differed regarding the major sins. فَقِيلَ It is said, هِيَ سَبْعٌ There are seven. وَاحْتَجُّوا بِقَوْلِهِ And those that say that the major sins are seven, they use this statement of the Prophet has an evidence, صلى الله عليه وسلم, in which he said, اجتنبوا السبع الموبقات Stay away from the seven destructive sins فذكر الشرك He mentioned shirk والسحر magic وقتل النفس and killing a soul وأكل مال اليتيم and eating the wealth of the orphans وأكل الربا and eating Usury, riba, interest. وَالتَّوَلِّي يَوْمَ زَحْفِي And turning away on the day of the battle. يَوْمَ زَحْفِي is on the day of the battle. It's running away from the battlefield. وَقَذْفُ الْمُحْصَنَاتِ And accusing those that are chaste, the chaste women, the pure women from indecencies. The women that are innocent. Accusing them of indecencies, and this hadith is muttafaqun alayhi, it is agreed upon. Thalithan, <clears throat> number three, the third hadith here is wajaa an ibn Abbas, it has been reported from ibn Abbas. May Allah be pleased with him, radiallahu anhu. On Anhuma, may Allah be pleased with him and his father. Qala in say, Hiya ila sabi'ina aqrabu minha ila sabi'a. He said, It is more closer to 70. The major sins are more closer to 70 than 7. Meaning that the, the major sins are 70. This opinion is more correct than saying they are 7. They are more to 70 than 7. And Imam al-Dhahabi said, 
He is confirming the statement of Ibn Abbad that Ibn Abbas has spoken the truth. Wallahi by Allah. He said, Wasadaq of Allah ibn Abbas. I swear by Allah ibn Abbas has spoken the truth. Well, hadith of Fima Fihi Hasr al Kabair. Well, Ladi Yatajihu, Wayakumu Ali Hidalil. Well, Hadith of Fama Fihi Hasr al Kabair. He said, This hadith doesn't have within it restricting the major sins to only seven. Hasr means it is restricted to those that are uh, counted. So Imam al Dhahabi said, it is not, the hadith is not restricting the major sins to that. وَالَّذِي يَتَّجِهُ وَيَقُومُ عَلَيْهِ الدَّلِيلِ أَنَّ مَنْ ارْتَكَبْ أَنَّ مَنْ ارْتَكَبْ حُوبًا مِنْ هَذِهِ الْعَظَائِمِ مِمَّا فِيهِ حَدٌ فِي الدُّنْيَا كَالْقَتْلِ وَالزِّنَا وَالسَّارِقَ أَوْ جَاءَ فِيهِ وَعِيد فِي الْآخِرَ مِنْ عَذَابٍ وَغَضَبٍ وَتَهْدِيدٍ أَوْ لَعَنٍ أَوْ لَعَنٍ فَاعِلُهُ عَلَى لِسَانِ نَبِيِّنَا صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ فَإِنَّ كَبِيرَةٌ وَلَا بُدَّ مَعَ تَسْلِيمِ ذَلِكَ أَنَّ بَعَضَ الْكَبَائِرَ أَكْبَرُ مِنْ بَعَضٍ طيب إن سيد رحمه الله He said that which is based upon the evidence is that anyone who embark upon a major sin, Huban is a major sin, from these great sins, from those which has within it had done a threat in the dunya, like execution, the like killing, the like killing, from those who have threat in the dunya like killing and fornication and stealing or that which a threat has come regarding it in the year after so here he said from that which there is a capital punishment had done here means a capital punishment in the dunya like the sin of killing hmm? and the sin of zina the sin of stealing or that which a threat in the year after has been mentioned regarding it from the punishment and anger and threat or curse or curse in the one who does it upon the tongue of the prophet So he said, all of these are major sins, no doubt, along with uh, uh, submitting to the fact that some of the major sins are greater than others. He said, Allah tara annahu. Don't you see that he counts shirk to be from the major sins? Although the one who embarks upon it is eternally in the fire, is to be eternally in the fire if he dies upon it. And he is not going to forgive him ever. But I will offer Allah who abandon, and He is not going to be forgiven ever if He dies upon it. Allah Allah Taala, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bihi." That Allah is not going to forgive that partners are associated with Him. Wa yaghfiru ma doon adalika liman yasha. But He's going to forgive anything lesser than that for whomsoever He wills. 
وقال تعالى الله سبحانه وتعالى says إنه من يشرك بالله verily whoever associate partners with Allah فقد حرم الله عليه الجنة then indeed Allah has forbid in Jannah from him ولا بد من الجمع بين النصوص it is a must that we combine between the text number four الرابع The fourth hadith relating to this is the statement of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which he said ala unabbiukum bi akbaril kaba'ir should I not tell you the major sins qalaha thalathan he mentioned this three times qalu bala ya rasulullah this is of course our messenger of allah qala he said al ishraq billah it is to associate partners with allah وعقوق الوالدين إن بين disobedient to the parents وكان متكي أن إن he was reclining lying down فجلس he sat فقال إن he said ألا وقول الزور إن verily indeed a false testimony a false statement فَمَا زَالَ يُكَرِّرُهَا And he didn't cease. He was repeating this statement. أَلَا وَقَوْلُ الزُّورُ حَتَّى قُلْنَا Until we said لَيْتَهُ سَكَتَ If only the Prophet would stop saying this. يعني they said that to him out of mercy for him because he was emphasizing this point. For statement. And the hadith is agreed upon. So he said, فَبَيَّنَ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهُ وَسَلَّمْ The Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم clarified أَنَّ قَوْلَ الزُّورُ That a false statement مِنْ أَكْبَرِ الْكَبَائِرِ Is from the major sins. وَلَيْسَ لَهُ ذِكْرٌ فِي السَّبِعِ الْمُوبِقَاتِ Although it is not mentioned in the hadith of the seven destructive sins, وَكَذَلِكَ الْعُقُوقُ Likewise, being disobedient to the parents. This is the introduction of Imam Ibn al-Qayyim. The next chapter is فَالْكَبِيرَةُ الْأَوَّلِ The first فَالْكَبِيرَةُ الْأَوَّلِ The first major sins الشِّرْكُ بِاللَّهِ Associate in partners with Allah. We'll stop here for now. صَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ عَلَى نَبِيِّنَا مُحَمَّدْ وَآلِهِ